Hello and welcome back. So what we want to start doing here is adding privileges or making the privileges active for each type of user. So what I mean here is limiting the access depending on who you are. So in this case, we have a student here and I want to log in as a student. So a student shouldn't be able to see this tab, for example, the schools tab, right? So they shouldn't be able to switch between schools and also they shouldn't be able to see the staff members profiles. Also, they shouldn't be able to see other students as well. The classes here, they should be able to see classes, but only the classes they belong to. And they can see tests, only tests that are part of their class. Okay. So how do we go about limiting access? Now let's go to our oath. This is why we have the oath model. It's what we will use. We just need to create uh, one more function here. So let's see here. Mm. What I need is part of this. So let me just copy this one right here. I will copy that. So what I want is for this to return true or false, depending on whether I have access or not. Okay. So let's zoom in here. Instead of checking for just logged in, we're just going to call this one access. And in here, we will specify the rank that is required at that moment. Uh, we will supply a rank that is required. Let's say I want the item to have a privilege of admin. Only admin should see that. I'll bring this access and then say admin in here. But we need a default rank here. Now we should give the default rank to the lowest, uh, or we call the lowest denominator. In our case, the lowest access is the student. If you are a student, you have the most limited access to the site. So this is what we should add here, the lowest access level. So if you had user or you had customer or something like that, depending on the type of website, you would put that here, the user with the lowest uh, ranking. So we'll put student there for now. Now, if not is set, let's do if not is set session user. Let's return false here, because if you're not signed in, then you have zero access whatsoever, regardless what um, what the item is, because you are completely not logged in. So here we return false if the user isn't logged in at all. And then we will leave the return false here. And so that whatever if statements we add in the middle, if none of them is met, we'll just return a false as well. So we must be very strict on returning false should be the default with a fallback. That way we avoid giving unnecessary access to people, uh, unnecessary access to sensitive information, I mean. So at this point, we want to check if this rank is involved uh, down here. So I'm going to create a variable called rank like this. Now, this is where I will give my privileges. Now, the thing is, uh, we could do this in two ways. Now, I want to give the rankings here. The problem with putting them here is that if you change something in your website, you have to come and edit it here. So the second way to do it is we can include a file or add a, uh, a constant, yes? That way we can access it from anywhere and we will change that constant from the config file instead of here. But for now, let's do it from right here. And this should suffice. So let's say you are a super admin, right? Let's put super admin here. What exactly do you have access to? Now you have access to everywhere where it is written super admin, right? This is a uh, straightforward. So anytime the access of super admin is given, 
obviously you have access. But keep in mind that, let's say for example, let's say in, um, let's go to students, for example, which is the lowest, and I'm going to go to this one. Now, obviously a student has access to this tab where they should see their own classes. Now, if I put access student, I write student should have access to this. The problem is that only the student will have access. Their teacher will not have access to this. The admin will not have access to this. So we have to keep that in mind that when we say student, what we actually mean is that the teacher will have access. The admin will have access and the super admin will also have access when we say student. So we have to keep that in mind. So the question here is, when we say super admin, okay, once I say super admin, what other sections does super admin have access to? So super admin will have access to wherever it says super admin, of course, and also where it says admin, he will still have access. You also have access where it says lecturer, right? You also have access where it says um, reception, is it? Yes. So also where it says student. So all these are access uh, levels that super admin has. So this is how we're going to do things. Now, let me go to the user sign up view so I can see what levels I added. So there's reception, student, admin, and uh, super admin. So I've captured everything that I need there. So which is all here. So we we'll go to the next level. So here we're just dealing with the admin. So what what access does admin have? So in this case, the admin only has admin without super admin access. So let's just remove the super admin, but otherwise they have access to the rest of this. <clears throat> and then we keep going. So here we'll have lecture. Yeah. Now where there's lecturer, they don't, the lecturer doesn't have access to admin stuff, but he does have access to where a student has access. I don't know if he should have access to the reception situation, but that's entirely up to you to decide. In this case, I'll leave it there. And then let's go to reception here. So receptionist may not have access to what a lecturer has. So it would be reception and probably what the student has. And then finally, the student will just have access to student situation like this. Okay, pretty good. Now you can go ahead and add as many as you want here, 100, 10, 20, that's entirely up to you. You just choose what it means for them, which access they have once they have a title, just like we've done here. Okay, cool. So now at this point, we need to gather more information. So first of all, I need to know the logged in rank right now. The user that is logged in, what rank do they have? So I need to know that. So I'm going to copy this and paste it there and say rank right here, like so. Okay, so I know now what rank the current user has. So I'll copy this and I have to make sure that it is set in here. If this rank is set in there, otherwise let's return false. So I'm going to say if we'll put an if statement there, if not is set rank like this and paste that logged in rank. then let's return false okay so what i'm saying here is if the current logged in user is neither a 
super admin, admin, lecturer, receptional student. If there are none of this, then there's nothing to discuss. They should just be forbidden. So there we go. If not is set. Hmm. However, if it is set, then let's check to see if uh, they have that selected rank in the array. So I'm going to put another if statement and say if in array like this. OK, so what are we looking for in the array? We're looking for this rank right here that was supplied. OK, and where are we looking it for? Looking for it. We're looking for it in the rank. But which of these rank are we looking for it in this particular rank of the logged in user? So copy this right here. Don't worry if this is confusing. I'm going to explain to you what this is. So we're going to return true at this point like that. So this is the only time we return true. Every other time is false just to make sure that we don't give wrong access to the wrong person. So, so let's give an example here. So in order to do the access thingy, what we're going to be doing in our code is something like this. I'm just going to be writing something like auth and then I say access like so. And then I put uh, something like admin like that. So this will return true or false. So here what I'm really saying is that I only want the admin to be able to access whatever I put inside that if statement. It will be an if like so. And then I'll close that here and do this. So I'm going to say whatever is in here will only be accessible through the admin. So let's see how this will work with this function. So let's say, for example, I'm really an admin and this access requires admin access. So what will happen is once we call this function, this will be equal to admin and not student since the default will be overwritten. So here we'll have admin. And then the question will be asked, is it set this user data? And if I'm logged in, yes, this will be set. So we'll ignore this because this only happens if it is not set. So moving on, the logged in rank will be admin since I'm logged in as an admin, right? So this will be admin. Therefore, if I say if is not set rank, let's say rank admin, because this is admin, which in this case it is set, right? So we will ignore this as well. But then we come to the main area here and where we say in array rank. So in our case, rank is admin because we are telling the user that only admins should access this. So this is admin. So we are asking the question, does admin exist in rank? <clears throat> and then my current logged in rank is admin as well. So does admin exist in the rank admin? So in, this is the rank admin and does admin exist in there? And yes, that is true. Admin exists. So I do have access. Now let's imagine I'm actually a student. Okay. So this access is for admin, but I'm logged in as a student. So what will happen is this will be equal to admin because that's the required access. And we'll skip all this because all this will work out. We do have a uh, student. I'm logged in as a student. So we do have rank student here. So all this will pass with flying colors until we get to this point. So once we get to this point, this rank will be admin because that's what's there. But I'm logged in as a student. So it's going to be rank student here. So the question is, does admin exist in the rank student? So let's check in rank student. Does admin exist there? No. So if it does not, this will be ignored and then eventually will return false. So this way we're going to restrict the access depending on who you are. Okay, so hopefully this is understood and uh, we're going to put it in action in the next video.